Okay, let's take a look at a couple of comping approaches when we're playing underneath the soloist in a style like this. The first example is just sort of a standard rock shuffle idea out of A5 and an A6 movement. And what I do is I kind of I'll loosely lift, I'll lift up my fingers so that I'm getting a mute in between every other hit. And that keeps the rhythm sort of sharp, and what that does is it helps me groove along with the drums and the bass, because the drums are going bop, 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 bop. There's not any long tones. There's no da, 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 da. It's more da, 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 da. And we want to kind of rock along with them and just groove. And you can do all downstrokes, or you can do upstrokes, too, or down and up. And this is good because it really, like I said, links up with the rest of the rhythm section and won't get in the way of your soloist. Another great approach for comping on this track is to play a really cool upbeat bass rhythm. We're going to use just a small piece of a seventh chord here. It's on the fifth and sixth frets, starting with the G note, the C sharp, and the E. There's no A in this particular shape. We'll leave that up to the bass player. And what we're going to do is play a very upbeat bass rhythm. We'll play um, your D7 shape, which looks like a D9, but we're just going to play the uh, bottom three strings, which would be the D, F sharp, and C. We'll move that up a whole step for the E chord as well. And then back to the A. So the upbeat bass rhythm sounds like this. Two, three, four... to the four, D7. To the E7. A7. E7. That's a great little concise rhythm that you can use when you're playing rhythm behind my solos or the other soloist that you're jamming with.